Hello everyone. Um, I'm trying to squeeze this video in between other things during the day. So this might not all be recorded in one day. Clothes might change. Um, at the minute I'm in the middle of painting something. Um, let me show you. So I am making a snail. He looks a bit scary, but I'm doing a clay sculpture of that guy over there from one piece he is a transponder snail I'm making him for my partner anyway you don't care about snails so let's get, <laughs> let's get back to the video um so this video is going to be my dat wish list so it'll be a long video it'll probably be filmed over a couple of days um i've literally got an hour about an hour right now um, and then i might be able to get some more done later but i have just logged in to dac and I have 67 diamond paintings on my wish list. Dog is snoring um, in the other room or in the hallway and my son is having a nap in the living room. So you might hear background noises. I think the washing machine's on as well. Um, but let's get straight into this. I'm gonna do a screen share. So I'll set that up and then come back. Okay, so hopefully this is, this is working. So here is my wish list. Now, there's 67, they're in no particular order. I haven't looked at these for ages. So I'd imagine, well, this one's a new one. So I, I was gonna say, I'd imagine they're from newest to old, oldest, but some of these are quite old. So let's go with the first one. This one is Dragon Artist. So this one is pretty new. Um, Neen Thomas, Dragon Artist, is out of stock. Uh, square diamonds, 47 colours with three Aurora Bolearis Aurora, Aurora ABs, basically. Three fairy dust diamonds. Now, can I enlarge this? There we go. So, I really, really like this picture. I am a big fan of dragons. Um, I always have been. And... I don't know what it is about this picture, but a lot of the dragon pictures that come on to DAC, I'm not that much of a fan of, usually because of the rendering, but this one is really nice. Um, the rendering is actually pretty good. I'm not too big on all of the details on the table, but there is a lot in the picture. So the dragon looks really, really nice. The dragon painting looks really, really nice. And the lady looks really, really nice. Um, Oh, they've actually got some completed pictures on here now. I really do like this new feature that DAC are doing where they're actually adding completed images of the kit so you can see them. Now, obviously, her face is quite pixelated, but she is a small figure in the chart, so it's it's expected. Um, if you can see on her face there, there's not very much to go on. But because there is a lot of detail in the, you know, the table and all the junk everywhere, um, there's a little picture of a cat. I don't know if you can see that on the table. Can I zoom in? Oh, I can. So this bit here, if we go back to the rendering, I don't like that. I do not like these little beady little eyes. I would probably, if I bought this, take that cat image out of that completely. Um, that is the only real issue that I can see on this picture. So I'm going to keep this one on my wish list. Uh. What is going on? Okay, so now my wish list has just jumped all over the place. So <laughs> I did have them. Um, and now that one's disappeared. So we'll have to be very, very careful how we do this. So this next one is Kitty Cat. Now this is an old one. This is by Jeremiah Kettner. Um, how big is it? It's actually out of stock as well. Square diamonds, 52 colors with three ABs and it is 56 by 79 centimeters. So it's not a bad size. Um, I'd say it's pretty average, pretty average size. Um, I really like the colours in this one. That was why I put it on my wish list. Wish list. The colours are beautiful. And the rendering actually doesn't look that bad because all of these cats or kittens are fairly big. The rendering on these looks fine to me. 
Um, I don't think they'll have, no, they don't have a completed picture of this one because this one is an older kit. Um, but I do really like this one and I probably will. Why, go away, honey. Can I not get this off the screen? I do not want honey on my thing. Um, so yeah, this one retails at £62 for me. Um, I'm in the UK, if you haven't, if you haven't noticed. Um, and I will be keeping that one on my wish list. So the idea of this whole video is to try and get my wish list down. I need to take some of these off. There is way too many on here. So Dragon Artist has just popped up again. <laughs> Have a look at this one. This one is Rebreathe. This is by Yume Art. I hope I pronounced that right. Square Diamonds. 50, 65 by 98 centimeters. Now that is long. Um, 39 colors, three ABs, and one fairy dust. Now that is a big picture. Let's take a look at it. Are you going to zoom in? Okay, so the original image is beautiful. Really is absolutely lovely. But the size of this is going to put me off. So there's a lot of browns. Um, and neutral colours in this, which I would probably find very boring for something that is 98 centimetres long. That is a lot of work um, to put into something with a lot of brown tones. I'm not a fan of brown. Uh, I probably, it's my probably least favourite colour of all. And there's an awful lot of it here. Do they have, no, they don't have a completed picture of this one. Um... So that's the rendering. This this image here is the rendering, and that's the original. They've actually done a really, really good job of the rendering on this one, but I think I will go away, honey. <laughs> I think I will take this one off the wish list. It's too big. That is the only reason why I will take it off, is it's just too big. So you need to go. Okay, so we've done Dragon Artist. Now, Queen Zahara is another old one. And this is on my wish list for my Nan. So my Nan absolutely loves elephants. Um, they're one of her favourite animals other than, I think it's a turtle. But this was on here for her. I, I ended up doing one from Dreams Designs instead because this one wasn't in stock when I wanted to do it for her birthday. She's 83 now, so I don't know if she would want another one um, because she's got the one that I, I made for her from Dreamers Designs on her wall. She's I gave it to her framed um, because it was quite a quite a small size, quite a manageable size that I could find a frame for it, and she's got it on a wall. So I think I will get rid of this one, but it is a beautiful picture. Um, it's not for me, though, so I wouldn't buy this for myself, but we'll just have a quick look at it. It's round diamonds, 39 colours, two ABs. No fairy dust because back then they didn't have them. 51 by 64 centimetres. And let's take a quick look at the picture. Lots and lots of colour. Would be really, really fun to do. Um, I don't know if this one will have the guide circles on because it's an older kit. And that puts me off as well. Um, I don't know if they've updated their older kits or if they're just continuing to print them with the guide circles. I have no idea. Go away, honey. <laughs> Um, I'm get, I'm going to take that one off the wish list. And now it's gone. There you are, Queen Sahara. You need to go. So next we have Mermaid Bedroom. Now Mermaid Bedroom is beautiful. It's a lovely colour palette. I absolutely love, for some reason, just lately, I've been really into pinks, purples, blues, all the girly colours, like um, pastel colours. Um, and I think that's what drew me to this one. So this one is by Mrs. Butter. Mrs. Butter. Butter. Mrs. Butter D. Um, excuse the British accent. <laughs> Square diamonds. 53 colours with three ABs. Two fairy dust. 55.8 centimetres by 70.7 centimetres. Now, I haven't looked at the rendering on this one. I saw the original image here and just really really liked it so let's take a look hmm now there's not really much that can go wrong in this picture other than the scales on her tail i suppose oh go away oh go away um 
I tell you what, I still like it. I do still like it. I'm not put off by anything on the rendering that I can see. The scales are a little bit too big, but then you can't really do anything about that. So will you go away, honey? The size, I'd say it's quite average. Um, I don't think I'd get bored of this one. So this one will stay on my wish list for now. Jelly jellies, jelly space. So my friend Anne bought this one and I didn't actually see it when it came out. I I never, I didn't pay attention to it at all. Um, and I saw that she had it and she was going to do it. And then I think she changed her mind. Um, and she sent me, cause she sent me a couple of them and she wanted me to help her pick her next diamond painting. And that is where I saw Jelly Space. Um, this is by Dakota, Di Dakota Deitweiler, I think that's how you pronounce it. Square diamonds, 57 colors with three ABs, one fairy dust, 55.8 by 70.7 centimeters. So it's an okay size. Let's take a look. So this is the original image. You've got four jellyfish spinning around um this i thought was water at first <laughs> but it looks like kind of like an upside down sky um with thunder you know obviously they're in <clears throat> they're meant to be in space i believe so it's a very nice picture but the rendering i do not like it i i'll be honest i don't like it so you've got all these yellow tones down here um and when it comes to the rendering, it's very, very stark. Like all of the yellow in this picture is very, very stark. If they'd have took um, perhaps some of that out or not used that yellow color and maybe used a different one, or perhaps where you've got these tentacles here, not done this. Like I, I just don't. I'm not a fan of the rendering, so I am going to take this one off. There's too much yellow in this. Um, it didn't need to be there. I mean, I'm not a charter, so I'm just talking rubbish, you know, and, and I mean no harm to DOC at all. Their, their rendering team do a great job, but this one is just not for me. It's it's too busy, like I said in my um, stash video. Some of the pictures get too busy for me, and that is one of them. So Jelly Space will have to go. I'm thinking, though... Now I've got to find it. I'm thinking on the pictures that I really like, because I like the original image of Jelly Space, I will go and buy the print perhaps and just have a wall of prints in my craft room somewhere of the images that I really like that I either couldn't get as a diamond diamond painting or um, that I didn't like the, the rendering through diamond painting. That could be an option as well. So this is Margaret Morales and this is, mm, how do I say that? Onyheim, I don't know. Square diamonds, 65 colors with one AB, one electro diamond, two fairy dust diamonds, and it is 55.8 by 70.7 centimeters. Now this one came out, I believe, on Cyber Monday with the other Margaret Morales's that I did purchase. And I didn't buy this one because of that one in the corner over there. Um, it's another girl, very, very similar. That one over there has a dragon mask instead. Um, I do really like this one, but I didn't buy it because I didn't want another similar picture because I knew I would probably get bored of it. I love the colours in this, and I don't think I'd get bored of all the oranges and red tones um, because I, I quite enjoy them colours anyway. The rendering is really, really good. There's nothing wrong with the rendering at all, but I don't think I'm going to keep this one on my wish list just because I already have one. Um, and I don't need more than one. So unfortunately, I am going to take that one out. Now I've got to find it again. Delete. Ah, Joys of Spring. Joys of Spring is a lovely image. So this is by Abraham Hunter. It's a round 55.8 by 73.7. So it is quite big, but it's not any bigger than the ones that I've already kept on my list. 50 colors with four ABs. Now this one doesn't have any fairy dust or anything because this one has been out for quite a while. Um, 
you can also get this if you like paint by numbers you can get this image if you like to paint from masterpiece by numbers they have this and they are a licensed paint by numbers website um and i saw this on there a few days ago and i believe i saw it a couple of years ago there as well when i used to do paint by numbers absolutely beautiful image love birds um and the rendering is really good but this isn't a difficult one to render you've got like there's no um busyness in the original picture anyway you've got the birds that are all individually like they're not too close together so it wouldn't be too difficult to render i'm assuming <laughs> um i absolutely love it i love the the background where there's nothing in the background that you don't have to worry about and i love the contrast of the different colored flowers all the different birds that are feeding it is a beautiful picture um what is the price of this one so it's 57 so it's not actually that bad i think i will keep this one on here i would be tempted to paint this as well i think it would look really nice painted um but in diamond painting form it does look good as well there's no pixelation that i can see so i'll keep that one on there Now, Freya is a Trissa bug. And if you watched my first video on this channel, Trissa, 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 Charissa, Trisha is my favorite um, artist. This one's out of stock at the minute. It's round diamonds, 53 colors with three ABs, 42.6 by 66. So it's a perfect size for me and one fairy dust. However, I don't like this image as much as the rest of them. Um, I'm not a big fan of the way the cats are sitting. I don't, and her hand here. So let me, can I zoom in? So this part here is the bit that bugs me the most. Now, it looks okay in the original image. Go away, honey. But in the, you know, the, the diamond paint and form, it looks like she's got really sore fingers and these two have kind of molded together which is in the original image um it just it just i didn't like it really didn't like it um i don't like the way the cat is kind of stuck into her head there as well um and the cat's body is a kind of it's like the arm here as well let me just the arm here there's no real like separation if that's the right word i'm looking for there's no separation between the hand the cat and the fingers that that's yeah so this one is coming off my wish list unfortunately and that is the reason why i didn't buy it in the first place was the the original artwork was just not my favorite okay so that one's that was easy so this one is the food thief now i absolutely love squirrels i think they're beautiful little things and we actually have quite a few squirrels that come in my garden that feed i've got a little squirrel feeder and this year they were stealing the neighbors sunflowers it was it was brilliant lovely to see them absolutely love squirrels but this is a um a red squirrel whereas i get gray squirrels here so this is by abraham hunter it is a round diamond 52 by 4 52 by 4 52 colors and four ab's no fairy dust or anything like that because this is an older kit 60.8 centimeters by 42.6 centimeters and i love it this has been on my wish list for ages and ages the rendering's pretty good as well the is that a robin down there i believe no it's not a robin um i'm not actually sure what that bird is but it's a little bit blurred here um other than that i think this this kit is lovely um the reason why I haven't bought it is because I don't typically do landscapes and animals. Um, yeah, but look at that squirrel. Look at him. He is so cute. Um, get off, honey. And it's a really good price. So it's £47. And what size is it? 60 by 42. So it's a good price for a good size. I am looking to buy this one 
when I start purchasing diamond paintings again. I think it's been long enough now where this this has literally been sitting in my wish list for forever. Um, and I keep taking it out and I keep putting it back in and I keep taking it out and then I put it back in and I'm like, right, okay. When this comes back in stock, I probably will treat myself to it. The only problem is with the price of this one is I will have to buy two to get free shipping. And we all know that if you don't get free shipping, is there any point in buying anything? So, you know, like I will have to spend more money to get the free shipping to make myself feel better. So, ooh, that, he will stay. Okay, so next up we have Tiger on a Rock. This is by Dakota again. This one kind of, I put this one in here for my nan again, I think, more than anything. Um, around diamonds, 42 colours by five, with five ABs. 55.8 centimetres by 55.8, so it's a good size. 39,601 diamonds. Now, I really do like the artwork, but again, it's not my cup of tea it was more for my nan um now if you look at the original there's another thing here with the rendering that i don't like so if you look at the original you've got two birds one here one up here go away honey and then you've got the bird here kind of goes into the tree it's it's um not standing out as much as I would like. Also, this bird isn't, um, the leaves are okay. What is that? Is that a bird? Okay, yeah, so it's, they're, they're supposed to be two birds here and here. And then if we go back to the rendering, you've got your two birds here. I wouldn't even bother putting them in. I'd just take them out, um, if I'm honest with you, if I bought this, which I'm not going to. This is going to come off my wish list because I don't like it. I don't like the rendering. I love the original artwork. Absolutely beautiful tiger. Beautiful tiger. Beautiful leaves. Um, the elephants are obviously in the background, so they're not as, as detailed, but the birds are very detailed. The tiger is extremely detailed because it's at the forefront of the picture. Um, and then obviously you've got the elephants are a little bit more blurred at the back, but I am going to take this one off. So it looks like I have, it says 62, but I just took the tiger on a rock off. So I think I've got 61 in my wish list. So this one is Somewhere Over the Rainbow. Now, I picked this one because of the colours. Maria Abagnale. Is it Ab Ab Abagnale? Maria is a wonderful artist. I love her. Now, she was licensed, I believe, with Treasure Studios Art, I want to say, um, a while ago. And I fell in love with her artwork there but I didn't like the quality of, um, of Treasure Studios art. I've, I've ordered from them before and I weren't very happy with the, with the stuff. So it's a round diamond, 46 colors with four ABs, two fairy dust, 55.8 by 78.7, 55,919 diamonds. And here is the, original artwork so you've got a cool little crabby up here looking at all these little gemstones then we've got a fishy fish she's got some really cool glasses on that she clearly can't see out of and a ring to match so i really do i like the woman more than anything and her hair the way her hair cascades all over the place um and the rendering doesn't look too bad I will be honest and say that it doesn't look too bad. Uh, she's got some pink knuckles here, but I think that, yeah, that is in the original artwork. Uh, I can't, yeah, there's nothing I can really say about this one that I don't hate. I don't hate any of it, um, but I don't think I want to do it. So she's got very, very stark blue outlines on her hair there to do to um trying to mimic the shading in the original artwork but 
it's very long and I don't think I will hang this picture anywhere. So this one is going to come off my wish list. I've got to be brutal. Got to be a bit more brutal than I am, I think, because there's no way I'm going to be buying all of these. So let's take that off. Okay, this one is Lady Moth by Sarah Richter. I love Sarah Richter. Round diamonds, 33 colours, three ABs, one iridescent diamond, 55.8 by 70.6. And I really like this picture. Um, I do really, really like this picture. So the moths have little faces on them. And just like when you zoom into these pictures, just look how detailed they are. Like with the original artwork, they are just there's so much work gone into this picture. It's beautiful. The moths are absolutely beautiful. Um, go away, honey. Now, the rendering. I don't like the moths. <laughs> it's an eye and eye and a mouth. I don't like it. Like, I know there's no way that you can render that on a DAC canvas or on any diamond painting canvas. But I don't like the little, oh, <laughs> the little, it just makes it look funny. Like it's supposed to be like this cool picture and it just like this little face here just makes it look funny. Like a, it's like a kawaii um, face. So what I would do is take uh, this face off down here and the main one, I would just take the damn things off. Um, this bit here actually looks better. So where they've done it like this, where it's just like a V, an upside down V, and here, looks better than the dots like this. So I think I would definitely, if I keep this, I would definitely, definitely take them off because I just think they look silly. Um, other than that, I don't really think there's anything wrong with this picture that I would dislike. The hands and the face and everything are really well rendered. It's just the moth. So I think I'll keep her for now. How big is she? Yeah, I'll keep her for now. Um, and But I would take the moth faces off. Okay, so the next one is Song of the Moon by Miss Holly. Square diamonds, 46 by with three... Bleh. 46 colours with three ABs, three fairy dust diamonds, 99 centimetres wide and 70 centimetres long. Uh, I'm not doing this one. It's too big. So I really, really love the original image. I think it's beautiful. But... And there's a big but. There's no way I'm wasting my time with all of this purple in the background. Um, I don't even think there's anything wrong with the rendering. It's just massive. It is, what did I say it was? 99 centimetres wide for all of that purple. No. No, 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 no. Um... Obviously, the strings are something that bug me in diamond paintings as well because they look very, very stark. Like, they kind of stand out really badly. But there's nothing you can do about that because, you know, you can't... There's no other colour to put there. And because they are, you know, squares, they look pixelated. So it's um, it's a definite no from me. However, the original image is beautiful. Um, I do have to say that... This image, the original image, is absolutely beautiful, but it is too big for me, so no thank you. Where the heck has it gone? Okay, let's take Song of the Moon off. So that should give me... I should be at 60 now. All right. Queen of the Snow Fairies by Erica the Goober. She is beautiful. Absolutely love it. So it is around 30 colours with two ABs and one fairy dust. 
60.8 centimeters by 42.6 so it is a good size <laughs> Here's the original image. So she's kind of in the middle. There's there's quite a lot of blockish background, but nothing I wouldn't be too bored with. Um, yeah. Yeah. I honestly don't know about this one because I really do like it, but it's not something that I massively want. Um, and because there's a lot of white in this picture, it kind of looks too much. So you got the original image here and it's nice and soft because obviously it's the original artwork. And then we're going to go over here and it's very, very stark. Like the background is very, very stark. Um, <clears throat> I'm wondering whether it would have been worth taking all that out of the background. You can't even see the snowflake in her hand here. So there's supposed to be a snowflake here. Okay, um, I'll show you the original. Here's the original snowflake. All right. And then poof, it's gone. So now she's just holding her hands out looking at nothing. Um, and yeah, I don't like it. That one's going. Where are you? You would be right at the bottom, wouldn't you? Okay, this one is Seeding Imagination. Now, I believe this one came out for Cyber... Not Cyber Monday, Black Friday, I believe. This is by Yume Art. Square diamonds, 47 colours with three ABs. 55.8 centimetres by 111.6 centimetres. So you can already guess that I'm going to take this one off my wish list. But let's just have a look at it. It is beautiful. So you've got the lady or girl in the water. I don't know what type of thing she's holding there. Is it like a bowl of magic stars? I'm assuming. Um, then you've got all the sea life. Um, this turtle is beautiful. These these little fishies here. She's throwing the magic stars to feed the the fish. I guess um, <laughs> no. Um, it's it's lovely. It is a really lovely picture. Um, with the rendering, I really really think they've done a great job with the sea. So all of the sea life um, and the way this, the waves ripple and everything like that. I'm not that much of a fan of the girl. So there's very stark lines here. Her hand is almost disappeared. Um, the dress colors here, I'm not a fan of. I don't know what this thing is over here. Let's have a look at the original image. So it's something, oh, it's a, like a sea ripple. Well, you should They should have just left that off because now you've just got whatever that is. Um, yeah, this one's coming off my list, but I did want to just show it to you because it is beautiful. The stars no longer look like stars in the bowl because it's too detailed for a diamond painting. And these fish are quite blurry, but you know, they've already made it massive. There's not really much else they could have done. So you can see the stars down here um, and then obviously as you go up, they're just dots, but yes, go away, honey. That one is coming off my list. Okay, so this one has been on and off my list for ages. This is an older kit. This is called Erase um, by Suniva. I think that's how you pronounce it. Square Diamonds. 30 colours plus. Why does it say 30 colours plus? I don't know what that means. Maybe it's got ABs and it just, they haven't put them on. 53 centimetres by 76. So I keep taking this on and off my list. One, because I feel like it would be very boring to diamond paint. I love the original artwork. It kind of reminds me of my daughter's style of art. And that is one of the reasons why I picked it, because she really liked it. So I was going to put it in her bedroom, but she no longer lives with me. 
and <clears throat> I don't know if I'd want this in my craft room. Like I feel like it tells a story, but it tell it could go either way. Like so, I really like it. But if I'm if when I'm in a bad mood and I look at it, it kind of feels very depressing to me. This image, so I don't know. Um, they've done a really good job with the rendering, especially for saying this is an older kit. However, they have put the signature in, so the signature of the artist is there. Okay, and they've put the signature in there. Now that's an easy fix. You could just not put them in because this is a square as well, I believe. Um, but that does make me laugh that they've put the signature in. But the rest of it has been rendered really, really well. Obviously, the, the back isn't as detailed, which you would not expect. Um, but even the spiders, the spider's web there, it does look nice. I really don't know about this picture. Um, no, I do. I'm going to take it off because I literally just said it was for my daughter and not for me. So I need to take all the ones off that are not for me because if I keep adding things for other people, we're going to be here. Like I'm not going to take anything off my wish list, am I? This one is Petals Full by You May Art Again. Go away, honey. Dog is snoring. Square diamonds, 40 colours with two ABs, and this is 102 centimetres wide by 51 centimetres, and I believe that is the only reason why I didn't buy this when it first came out. So I love cherry blossoms. I think they're such beautiful trees. Um, this is very, very my style. It's very anime style. Um, as I showed you before with the snail, like I love anime. That's from One Piece, that snail. Um, I love the style of this picture. And they've done a very good job on the rendering. So not really a fan of these little twiggy bits here. I would personally probably just take them out. Um, you don't particularly need these twigs. But the rest of it is beautiful. There's not much to say about this other than it's too big. Um, I don't know where I'd put it. Yeah, the rendering is beautiful, but it's just too big. It, it's got to come off my wish list. It has to. I cannot do these big ones anymore. I have bought so many large ones, and then I get rid of them because they overwhelm me. And when I do work on them, I end up disliking the picture because they're just, they're just too big for me. Um, and I have realized that now. So I have to stick with it because no matter how much I love a image... If I'm not going to enjoy diamond painting it, what's the point? I might as well just go and buy the art print. So this one is Close Encounters by Scott Howden. And I really, really like this one because it is quite different. Now, I love the colours in it as well. So this is round diamond, 62 colours with four ABs, 56 by 69 centimetres. So it's an okay size. And I just think it's so cool. It's um very different. Um, I'm not too sure about her face in the rendering. It's very, like, because she's got quite a softer face here, but diamond paintings seem to make faces quite harsh. Um, her eyelashes are quite big, and her face is definitely more sharper. Um, I don't know why there is very stark lines in her clothes as well. That is a bit of a off-put. Um, I suppose it's to mimic the the seams on the top or, or the suit or whatever it is she's wearing. Um, yeah. I mean, I really like it when they do things like that, glass or transparent like this, because they have really made it look like it is over her head and not just around her head, if that makes sense. So it's like a trick of the eye where they have done a good job of that. But... Mm. Will I hang this? No, I will not, because I don't like... I like the original art. I would hang the original art, but I don't like the rendering difference in the eyes, the mouth, um, and the seams. So I won't hang that, so that one needs to go. So this one is Wilhelmina's Nook by Miss Holly. It is square, 66 colours with three ABs and three fairy dusts. It's 78 centimetres by 
55.8 centimeters. Now I do really like this because it kind of gives me Beauty and the Beast. That's that's the first thing I thought about when I saw this. Is very her style seems to be very Beauty and the Beast. Like you've got the magical pot. She very much looks like Belle. Um, you've got the stained glass windows, which I absolutely think stained glass windows are beautiful. What books are they? Spells, potions, familiars, I think that says. Um, and then you've got the little treats, the doggy treats there. Uh, and now let's look at the rendering. Now the rendering I don't like at all. Um, for the size of this picture, I think it could have been less pixelated, but it's like it's very, very soft here um, in the original art. And then you've got very stark, too busy for me. Uh, it's too busy. I wouldn't be able to do this. Um, it's there's too much going on in the picture to make it look right for diamond painting, if that makes sense. Um, so, yeah, unfortunately, this one is going to go. But I do love the original artwork a lot. And I think Miss Holly does some really, really beautiful pictures. Oh, OK, well, it's, <laughs> right. So let's do Underwater Train. The, the wish list is jumping about all over the place. So this is by Mrs. Butter D as well. This is Underwater Train. You can get this in round or square, which is pretty cool. So we'll have a look at both. 47 colours of 1AB, 3 fairy dusts, 50.7 by 70.6 centimetres. Now, I am a bit unsure if I even like the original artwork now. Um, when I first put this in my car, I liked the colours and that was it. I didn't really like the actual subject of the painting um, because you're in a train going underwater. It's kind of uh what's the word it's a nice picture but it's simple if that makes sense like it's um not something i would put as artwork on my wall and that's what i'm trying to think of when i purchase from now on because if i would just buy everything i like dac pump out so many pictures that it's impossible to buy everything and it's impossible to work on everything. So I really now, obviously, as, I've, as I keep saying in this video, make a conscious effort of picking things that I know I will put on the wall. So, I mean, it looks lovely. It really does. And they've even got finished pictures here. You can't beat DAC's quality at all. But, yeah, it looks lovely finished. But I just, it's not for me. Um, just the artwork in general for me now is... Um, not something that I would hang. So this one needs to come off my list. And why can I not go back? Right, I've got time for one more picture. This is Threads of the Universe by Scott Howden. I really like Scott Howden's work of colours. So the way he uses colours. Um, it's square diamonds, 78 colours with four ABs and one fairy dust. 50 feet, 50, 50, 50, 55 by eight centimetres. No. 55.8 centimetres by 76 centimetres. I don't know why I said that. Okay, so this is the original. Now, I really, really love this. However, I don't knit. I cross-stitch, so I'm not quite sure why I put this on there. I would love for a cross-stitch diamond painting to come out. I really, really would, because you would be surprised how many others are out there that cross-stitch and diamond paint at the same time. Um, it's it's a lovely, lovely kit, but I've never knitted in my life. Um, I really like that picture. It's really cool how they've got the knitting balls um, surrounding the artwork. Really, really nice. Love that. Um, but I don't knit, so... It doesn't speak to me as much as I would like it to. Like, I even, I love the render and I think it's done a really good job. And I think this picture is quite popular. But for me personally, I don't knit, so I need to take it off. <clears throat> this is The Equinox by Ashley Cassidy. And I love this picture. It's very, very my style. It's square diamonds, 49 colours with three ABs and four fairy dust. 
86 centimeters wide by 55.6 so it is on the bigger side um the original artwork though is absolutely stunning of this picture it is very very nice the rendering is okay so it's okay i could live with this um however the size puts me off there's a lot of background that you would have to do before you get to the main part here um not quite sure what's going on down here with all of this but you know like you can you're not going to get that <laughs> in a diamond painting so I, if this came out as a cross stitch, I would probably lean to more more towards cross stitch in this image because there's a lot of detail that needs to be shown. So with some images, this is just my opinion, but with some images, I don't mind if details are lost through diamond paintings. When I want something that I want all the detail in, I will look for it in a cross stitch because you are able to pick up details more in a cross stitch than you are diamond painting. It's just it's just the way it is. Diamond paintings only come in a certain size, like the drills, whereas cross stitch, you can make your stitches different sizes. So if you've got a big detailed picture, you can do your stitches smaller on a wide on a wider scale, like a big piece of fabric and have the picture quite large and fit in all of the tiny little details. So this on his arm here, I particularly would want to keep keep that detail and i'd want to keep all the detail in her hair the ripples in the clothing um the fact that she's dropping an app uh pomegranate is it uh all of this down here but when it comes to diamond painting you know you lose it it looks now it looks like there's milk or something on him like <laughs> i don't know what to say you've lost all the detail in the top so you've lost all the detail here, you've lost the hair detail, you've lost all of this detail down here, and there's nothing you can do about it because obviously it's um, diamond paintings, the, the drills are a particular size, there is nothing you can do about that. So it's not anybody's fault, it's just this image I think deserves to be a cross stitch because it is a beautiful image and for that it's going to have to go because it would annoy me having such a wonderful picture and not being able to see the detail so i'm gonna have to go for a, a little bit um i will see how long this video has been it may be a case that we do this in a couple of parts over the next few weeks so at the minute let's just refresh the minute i have 50 in my wish list um If I get time, I'll add the rest of this on. If I don't get time this week, it's going to have to be done in parts um, because that's a lot. <laughs> um, but we'll see. So I might be back. OK, so what I'm going to do is split this video up because I have 50 minutes of recording time that I've already done. We've got like 50 things on the wish list still. So I will do one of these videos every week. Um, it's going to take me a good couple of hours to edit all of that and upload it. And I don't think my laptop is going to have the memory or the power to do this video all in one go like I planned. So come back next week or so and i will have the next part of this um hopefully we'll we'll see how how much memory this one takes if my computer can handle a video this long um then i'll try and make the next one a bit longer but thank you so much for watching and i'll see you next time Bye bye